Hello, welcome back to part three of adding an AGC circuit to the BC-1 radio. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to align the threshold control and how the operation of the AGC works in controlling the gain of the audio amplifier. Uh, this will be the, the last video installment for the BC-1 radio. Uh, we'll be building other things uh, in an upcoming video. So we'll get started with uh, finishing up on the BC-1 radio right after this. Okay, this is a recap of the AGC circuit. We pulled off a DC voltage and filtered it to remove the audio and RF components, and we fed that into uh, the wiper of a 50K potentiometer. Uh, one end of the pot goes to ground, <clears throat> the other end feeds the base uh, lead of the first MPN transistor stage, uh, the first AGC transistor. And this operates as a DC switch. When there is a strong enough station uh, and the DC voltage rises up enough to turn on this transistor, uh, the second transistor will turn off and that raises the collector voltage uh, above ground potential and on our audio amplifier uh, the 470 ohm resistor is not bypassed by uh, this capacitor so the gain of the stage is approximately the collector load resistor which is 4700 ohms uh, divided by the emitter resistor, which is 470 ohms, and that equates to a gain of about 10. Now, when there is a really weak station, the voltage potential here that we pick off from our detector diode uh, drops below the voltage required to turn on the first transistor. So with this transistor, the first AGC transistor, with that turned off, the collector voltage is high, which will turn on the second transistor, and that pulls the collector voltage low. And it uh, pulls it down near ground, uh, not completely to ground, but within a, a, a volt, uh, one or 1.5 volts from ground. So it effectively places this capacitor in parallel with the emitter resistor. And on a common emitter amplifier, when you bypass the emitter resistor uh, with a suitable sized uh, capacitor, you increase the audio gain, uh, the gain of the circuit. Uh, it will uh, approach that of the beta gain, the HFE uh, gain, I should say, uh, of the transistor, which is about 100, but because this capacitor doesn't go uh, solid to ground because uh, of the saturation voltage uh, when this transistor is turned on, it doesn't go all the way to zero volts. Uh, so the gain uh, never quite makes it to the HFE rating of the transistor, but nonetheless, it does increase the gain uh, sufficient for our needs. Now, uh, the proper way to adjust this is you want to set this potentiometer about a third of the way from uh, ground, uh, from the, the side that is connected to ground, and if you measure the voltage, uh, which we will with, uh, with the oscilloscope, I'm going to hook it up to the collector lead of the second AGC 
uh, transistor and then I will show you uh, on the scope uh, what it looks like coming up next okay I have power applied to the radio receiver and I'm going to adjust the tuning capacitor to ensure that we have the radio set in between active stations okay we're at a quiet spot on the dial and um, adjusting this control we want to have it set uh, so that the voltage is zero with no signal now the scope I have set to measure DC voltage uh, shows 500 millivolts per centimeter on the display however I'm using a times 10 probe so it's actually 5 volts uh, per division and right now it's at 0 volts and if I uh, turn the control far enough clockwise away from ground I then uh, change the biasing on the first AGC uh, transistor such that the second AGC uh, transistor uh, the collector lead where we're connected that transistor turns off and the DC voltage approaches uh, 9 volts uh, uh, the operating voltage of our uh, circuit uh, but you want to have it set uh, turning that pot uh, until the voltage uh, comes down to zero as is shown here okay the next thing I'm going to do uh, we have our our scope probe connected to the collector of the second AGC transistor and now I'm going to connect a high impedance uh, FET voltmeter on the wiper of the uh, 50k potentiometer and I'm going to show you the relationship between uh, the relative signal strength uh, of the received station at this point and how the AGC circuit reacts at this point. So I will do that next. Okay, I have my FET meter uh, connected to the wiper of the 50k AGC threshold control and I'm using the 0 to 1.5 volts uh, full scale uh, so uh, this point here is uh, 0 0.6 volts and over here is 0 0.9 volts and right now I have the tuning capacitor set uh, so I'm in between stations so we're looking at the uh, uh, biosing voltage in an idle state of the uh, detector diode because you remember that we connected the anode lead of the diode directly to the collector of the RF amplifier and then uh, we have a 100k resistor going to ground on the cathode and so we're seeing the voltage drop right now across the detector diode in an idle state now uh, the scope is currently set at zero volts uh, because uh, uh, that means the uh, second AGC transistor is turned on placing the cap uh, across the emitter resistor and uh, increasing the gain of the audio output transistor okay now I'm going to tune in a weak uh, station I, the ones I think of, I think of Jimmy the Greek, I think of Camp Pants. There's I think of a weak station, and, and which uh, are, are out the just idea barely that, registers the on the FET on meter scale. But you can see the scope is still at uh, zero no volts. Audio that. stage is We're running at uh, yeah, maximum yeah, gain. And then when I tune in when a stronger age, station, you'll see like the FET meter uh, raise up quite a bit. Uh, it's up about 0.8 volts. And, and, and that causes the second AGC transistor to turn off, which uh, and releases and the capacitor in parallel to the emitter resistor, lowering the gain of the 
point of the uh, audio amplifier. Who are you? And then there's some more uh, quite strong stations. Now we're at uh, 0.9 volts. And uh, the second AGC transistor is uh, once again turned off for reduced gain. And if we go back to the weak station, the audio associated with that station is about the same as the audio of a strong station. So that is how uh, the AGC circuit works on the VC-1 radio. Well, I hope you've enjoyed building the VC-1 radio. I have some other projects that I'm prototyping on my bench and when I get the design finalized I will be uploading uh, those videos to show you how it's built. Uh, we'll be building more receivers later on but uh, I'm prototyping some other circuits at this time and uh, one of which uh, includes uh, an antenna design. Uh, UHF antenna design that I'll be sharing with you at a later time. So I, I thank you for watching Tronics in 10. My name is Brian. I hope you have a good time building circuits on your workbench. Until next time, bye bye.